At First Presbyterian Church of Arlington, we have a clear mission. We are transforming life by glorifying God, following Jesus, and loving our neighbor. And in order to accomplish this mission, all of us are called to grow our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. All of us are called to grow our faith in God, our Heavenly Father. All of us are called to grow our partnership with God the Holy Spirit. We have learned from the prophet Jeremiah, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. For the next two months, we're entering a new season at FPCA, a season of greater trust in the Lord, a season of greater commitment to the Lord, and a season of greater growth in the Lord. God is calling us to transform more lives. God is calling us to growth and maturity in Christ. God is calling us to a greater depth of love for our neighbors. God is calling us to grow in our generosity. God is calling us to commit ourselves and take a leap of faith. God believes in you, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. John 3.16 Now is the time to decide. Will. Will is a much different word than can. Can suggests something I am able to do and might do, but will suggests something I choose to do when I exercise my will. If we are to be faithful Christians maturing in our discipleship, then we must choose to grow as we learn to trust God. Proverbs 3, 5 through 10 promises us that if we trust God and seek Him, He will provide us with overflowing resources. When our will is committed to doing God's will, and we choose to follow our Lord Jesus, our lives will overflow with the generosity we have received from God. You. You focuses on each one of us individually in our prayerful decisions before the Lord. It's not about anyone else's choices, but it's about each of us individually praying and responding to God's call. Often this requires conversation and prayer with a spouse and or family. As the Lord speaks to each of our hearts, we can respond in faith rather than in doubt or despair. Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8 indicates that a person who trusts in the Lord is like a tree planted near water. It does not fear when heat comes. In the year of drought it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. You can be like a tree planted by the water. Grow. Grow is a challenge to everyone in the church to take the next step in his or her spiritual life. Psalm 92 reminds us that the righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. In maturity, they still produce fruit. They are always green, showing that the Lord is upright. When our people grow spiritually, our church will thrive. The Apostle Paul says, We must no longer be children, but speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into Him who is the head, into Christ. It is time for us to grow. On Commitment Sunday, November 10th, will you join me in answering the question, Will you grow with an emphatic yes? Will you grow?